السلام عليكم طلاب after discussing the number of noun gender of noun now let us deal with the third characteristic of nouns which is case generally speaking nouns have two cases case the, the form in which the noun can have so there are two forms what are they or the, the a noun has two forms or two cases coming case and genitive case so let, let us read here as distant from personal pronouns personal pronouns like he she it English nouns have a two case system a two case system yani a case system having two forms or two cases the unmarked coming case the normal form the usual form of a noun which is called unmarked unmarked form called coming case like boy girl door window without any addition see like boy here on the marked genitive case marked genitive case here i have apostrophe plus s here apostrophe s up to this point i do not know whether this is what the kind of the s here up to this point is s genitive s genitive not as possessive it is as genitive since the functions of the coming case can be seen only in the syntactic relation of the noun phrase subject object it is the function of the genitive that needs separate secretary here the the uh, the coming case boy girl a boy window man woman kada it can be subject subject of the sentence object of the sentence maybe subject complement object complement adverb kada 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 but what is what needs to be uh, discussed it is what the genitive case let us see uh, the functions of the genitive case before having the the functions let us see the forms genitive case or genitive of nouns have two forms either called s genitive and of genitive s genitive and of genitive طبعا this is what is here it is a description for how to pronounce the s genitive when added to nouns طبعا when i add apostrophe plus s genitive to the noun I change the case of the noun from the coming case to the genitive case. The adjective of the of regular nouns is realized in speech only in the singular. What it takes one of the forms is the sub. Following the rules for s inflections in writing, the man will will pronunciation. I say what boys. I say for example, doors. The man I add door. Apostrophe then S. Uh, the the pronunciation of the, this addition is different from or differs from uh, noun to noun according to the final sound it uh, it has. But in writing, the the inflection of regular nouns is realized in singular by S genitive. apostrophe plus S and in the plural by putting an apostrophe after the plural see let's let us see these the one these variation they are not that important but let us deal with them the spies spies were arrested spies the spies companion was a woman the spice companions were women in each case. If you look at the pronunciation of spies, 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 it is the, it is the same pronunciation 
but the form of the noun is different. Here, the spies were arrested it is only the plural form of the noun. But here I have the singular form, apostrophe, then I have the S genitive. The singular form of the noun, apostrophe, then I have the singular form. Then I have here spies, I have the plural form of the verb noun, followed by the apostrophe, followed by <coughs> the apostrophe. So, if you have a plural noun, you want to make the genitive case for the plural noun, just add S genitive. The one had a regular pronoun, by the way, regular plural. It could, of course, also be this S form of the verb as he spies. Um, you see the same pronunciation. By contrast, an irregular noun like man preserves a number distinction independently of genitive marker and genitive plural. And say what? Man, singular form, common case. Man, plural form, common case. Man's, singular form, uh, uh, genitive case. Man's uh, singular, sort of plural, uh, it is what genitive case. Why? Because it has an irregular plural. Like if it has, if a noun has a regular plural, so here uh, it, 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 just having as to the noun. Again, we have certain nouns that have zero genitive, yeah, without, uh, without s. With the Greek names of more than one syllable, as in Eurybits. Here, Eurybits, it is just adding apostrophe without, without S. Eurybits, plate. With many other names ending in Z, where in speech zero is variant of regular is genitive. There is fascination both in pronunciation and spelling of these names. But my case, but most commonly, the pronunciation is the is form, is form, and the spelling an apostrophe on it. Thus, burns, burns, so what burns is, and burns, it ends with the sound, the sound. When I, I if, uh, if I want to add the as genitive, so banishes, this banishes, yeah, so you can say either this or that. With fixed expressions of the form for sake, as in, for goodness sake, for goodness, goodness sake, here uh, there is no S genitive, just adding apostrophe. For conscious sake, again, just adding, if you look why, if you want to say why, because they end with S, goodness or conscious sake, they end with s so there is no need for uh, an s genitive just adding apostrophe to show that this the noun has the comment sorry has the genitive case so what are the forms they are either s genitive or of genitive of genitive let us see in many instances, there is a functional similarity, indeed, semantic identity, between a noun in the genitive case and the same noun as a head in for prepositional, a phrase, yani grammatical, and again, and functional and semantic identity. Why? Because these are the two forms of genitive or the cases of noun. We refer to the S genitive when for the inflection. noun from the common case or the apostrophe then the S it is called inflection. Inflection as genitive. And to the of genitive called for the prepositional form. If I want to ask what are the two cases of noun? You should say it is as genitive and of genitive. وأقدر أسمل as genitive it is what in inflectional. Well, of genitive is called prepositional. Okay.
What is the ship's name? What is the name of the ship? What is the ship's name? You see? كانت بالكامن كيس هسه ship ship كامن كيس I change it to the genitive case say what add apostrophe then I add the as genitive again I can have the, uh, the prepositional form what is the name of the ship what is the name of the ship how they call the prepositional the heel of genitive Again, there are usually compelling reasons for preparing one or any other construction in a given case, and numerous environments in which only one construction is grammatically acceptable. The degree of similarity and overlap has the grammarians to regard the two constructions as variant forms of the genitive. So this, my question is, or may ask me, is it free? Is it that easy to change each noun, every noun from the common case to the two forms of the genitive case? Yani each noun, I am able to, to change or to have the noun yani freely to have the adjective and at the same time it has the a prepositional or of can, a genitive. No, there are some sort of limitations and restrictions. Let us see. By the way, when you say genitive, if you say what apostrophe is, it is not that necessarily, by the way, to have to be possessive. No, no it doesn't mean only possessive. As we have said, yani, as we are going to see, that I have seven meanings for genitive. Seven meanings for genitive. First of all, let us see what are they, and then, <clears throat> uh, and then we are going to see in what, what are the structures by in which I use s. What are the structures in which I use of? The first and the most common case called possessive genitive. The normal, what, what we have now. The normal this is what called possessive. In which I have, there is some sort of owning or a relation between someone owns something or something or some animal, for example, uh, what owns or has something, has or have. Let me give you these examples. My son's wife. Yani my son. I don't have the analog, this the, the the paraphrasing. My son has a wife. Mrs Mrs. Johnson's passport. Mrs. Johnson has a passport. Let us see. Let us make a comparison or let us make, uh, let us see these, these nouns. The one, this is a noun, it's connected with this noun. If you look at son, it is animate, personal. Son again, it is animate, personal. They are, they are, both of them are what? Persons. They are connected, connected by the S genitive. Again, I have my Mrs. Johnson's passport. Mrs. Jo Johnson is what? A human person. But passport is not a human. It is inanimate. Okay? So, Mrs. Johnson has a passport. This is okay. But when I say the gravity of the air, both gravity and the air, they are what? None or inanimate. Jamad. Non personal. If you look, they are what? I do not here use the S genitive. I use the of genitive. S genitive, not as it is of genitive. Yeah. Yeah. The second meaning of genitive, it is what? Subjective, subjective genitive. 
in which in the analog in which in the analog uh, the, the the noun with adjective becomes the, the subject of the uh, in the analog the boy's application means this doesn't mean that the boy has an application no it means the boy applied his parents consent his parents consented the rise of the sun the sun rose طبعاً هنا تشوفون boys boy is animate he is personal human application non human non personal but you see as genitive parents it is a human consent non human but again I have the as طبعاً by the way parents is a plural تشوفون we put the as or the apostrophe after the as plural يعني, uh, again, there is no, there is no need to add the S genitive, just the apostrophe. But when I say the rise of the sun, the rise of the sun, I use of. I cannot say the sun's rise. Why? Because sun and rise, sun and rise, both of them are non-personal, non-human. Move to the objective case or objective genitive. Objective genitive say in which the noun with adjective becomes the sub or the object of the analog. The family is support. Someone supports the family. The boys release. Someone release the boy. Now the shufun family boy refer to persons to human that film in S genitive. But when I say this a statement of the facts, statement of the facts, both a statement and facts, both of them are non-human. So I say what of, not is. Genitive of origin. What, what is the origin of a noun with s? The girl story, the girl's story. Say what the girl told the story. Here, go, this personal, it takes the S genitive. The general's letter, general's letter. Here, general, and general, the general, general, general's letter, it is what, again, it takes the S genitive because it's human. Say what, the general wrote a letter. The wines of France. Say wines and France, both of them are inanimate, so I use of, not s. Again, move to the fifth one, which is what a descriptive genitive, just to what describe the noun of with s genitive. A woman's college, a college for women. A summer's day, a summer day, a day in the summer. A doctor's degree, the degree of the doctor, طبعاً هذه تثبت of them. Uh, a doctor, doctoral degree or a doctorate. And it is okay to have both of them. Genitive of measure and partitive genitive. Genitive of measure and partitive genitive. Ten days absence. Now both of them, so you say, uh, both of them are in an empty mafrood, like they take the S genitive. An absence of 10 days, like it at the same time, it takes the two forms. The height of the tower, part of the problem. And by the way, ambiguity, genitive of measure, will a positive genitive. هذه دائما يأخذن شنو ال of genitive. Yeah, the appositive genitive, the city of York, York is a city. The pleasure of meeting you, meeting you is a pleasure.